Your bottle. My tail. Someone can't be bothered to put his bag on his back. So excited. Oh, no. Which one? Come on. 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 Hello. We've got to Ljubljana into the fuzzy log. We're now just having some time. I'm editing a vlog. Patrick is sorting out our logo, getting ready to start our vlog, which is exciting. And we're already in the fifth country. Feels a bit bizarre to be editing the first vlog on the fifth one, but we've got to start somewhere. So after a lot of editing, a lot of downtime, just chilling out, listening to some music, working on our logo, we got some pizza. We love pizza. Eat it. Go home, done a bit of washing. Now we're gonna FaceTime some friends, do some washing, edit some more, some more, and then go to bed. We'll see you in the morning, fear more. I'm currently waiting in our hostel room for Patrick. And see, I've got some clothes hung up here because there is an older gentleman who does not speak any English. He has now been washing his clothes in a washing machine that strictly says, do not use this washing machine, please use the other one. He has been using the wrong washing machine to jump ahead of the queue and has now been drying his clothes for just over two hours. It's 11 o'clock, you know who you are and you know what you've done. So we can't wash any of our clothes. So I have got the room ready and then I'm gonna go swap over with Patrick. Because we were both up this morning at 4 a.m. trying to get here to Ljubljana. We got here after nine hours or so. We checked into the hostel and then since then we've been editing, planning, filming. So we're very, very tired, but it's all okay because our card is made out of bamboo and I love that eco and sustainable. But I just give a little bit of an update to what backpacking life is really like. It's not just amazing. It's not just woo. Look at this drone shot. And this drone shot is actually bloody tired. And it has been over two hours just to dry some clothes. So we didn't really need to wash anyway, but we just thought we might as well. This is what we get. <sighs> oh, there's an older gentleman who is washing every item of clothing ever made we don't even need to wash our clothes we just decided hey we're gonna wash our clothes because there's a washer and a dryer here and it's the first time it's been two weeks we left with six pairs of everything so you can imagine what that has been like it's tiring you have to wear the same clothes you have to turn them inside out the rumors are true but you have to stay very clean, of course. I have had words with this gentleman. He does not speak any English, nor do I speak any. And I have no idea what country he originates from, but whatever it is, I don't speak it. I speak a tiny bit of German that I learned from Frau Goodman. You know who you are. And that wouldn't even help if I did know. You can see I'm very, very tired. I just feel like this gentleman is not allowing us to enjoy it. We should be in bed by now. Instead, we're taking it in turns to watch a washing machine go round. Oh, another busy morning. We're about to head out. Go into town, go see all the sights of Ljubljana. Luckily, it's quite a small little city today, just nestled on the riverbanks. So we're going to go have a little look, do some sightseeing, and then come back to the hostel. We got our first vlog done. Yay! This morning, this has been a really nice pit stop here in Ljubljana, but we definitely want to go out and see the sights. So that's where we are I'm going. We're on the seventh floor. We'll see you up there in a bit. Oh, Got yourself a pizza swirl. I love it.
Rick, we've got the drone, he's over there on the bridge. I'm gonna fly old Rachel, still not sure of the name, fly her up over the three bridges and see what we can catch her. Chimney cake. Got ourselves a dragon queen here oh. and a chimney cake. Hey! Seriously though, we've just been to the Dragon Street Food and got ourselves a chimney cake, Nutella, vanilla ice cream, coconut crumb, rainbow sprinkles, and pop up brownie crap. Does it taste nice? It's just divine, but you're not having any. Well, I'll have some on the outside because the inside will run me dry. You got IBS. Thanks. <laughs> We found ourselves in another market. However, the absolute smell is beautiful root vegetables. Is that the smell? I think we may have you missed it. it. I just thought you forgot to clean your teeth. <gasps> this is the central market here. As you can see, pretty empty because we're not on a weekend. So perhaps you should have come on a weekend.
Tivoli Park. And his legs are hurting. He's done lots of walking. Came about his knee. It's a large house. Guarded by four cast iron dogs. We'll meet you at the dogs and explain these cast iron dogs. Watch this space. These are the four cast iron dogs that keep guard at the top of the hill. They were made by a sculptor called Anton Fernkorn in the late 1800s. He did work all around the world and he's noticeably famous for these now because these four dogs have an eerie thing about them. They have no tongues. No. Legend says it, he was so embarrassed he killed himself. But it's later been disproved that actually he went to a mental asylum. They're beautiful though. Absolutely stunning. If you're ever here in Ljubljana, come and visit the cast iron dog. I'll tell you their names later. Lovely. What did you get? I got chicken and mashed potatoes. And I had some tortellini. Grandmother's tortellini. Episode of mine. This market is a bit more lively. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know. 